Anna. And I'm Chloe. And today we have a very exciting new video for you. It's a little bit different than the videos in the rest of the series, but I think it will definitely fit in and be very exciting. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time we post a video. Let's get on to the video. So our video for today is a college reveal. I have finally decided what college I'll be going to, and this is very exciting news, because I know a lot of our subscribers have been commenting for a long time what college I'll be going to, because everyone wants to know. Alright, should we do a drum roll? Definitely, it's a college reveal! I will be going to the Electoral College! Wait a minute. Chloe, you know the Electoral College is actually not a college. What? No, it's a process, not a place. The Electoral College is a body of voters established by the U.S. Constitution, which is used every four years for the sole purpose of electing the President and Vice President of the United States. Then how did I get this totally awesome acceptance letter from them? Chloe, this is not an acceptance letter. This is just explaining what the Electoral College does. The Electoral College consists of 538 electors. A majority of 270 electoral votes is required to elect the President. Your state's entitled allotment of electors equals the number of members in its congressional delegation. One for each member in the House of Representatives plus two for your senators. Let me see that. Oh, it says here that the presidential election is held every four years. On the Tuesday after the first Monday in November, you help choose your state's electors when you vote for the president because when you vote for your candidate, you are actually voting for your candidate's electors. Yeah, and most states have a winner-takes-all system that awards all electors to the winning presidential candidate. However, Maine and Nebraska, that's us, each have a variation of proportional representation, where not all votes go to one candidate. Well, it looks like I won't be going to the Electoral College after all. Well, that's all for the video today. Make sure you comment down below some sympathy for poor Chloe. See you guys tomorrow, when we are hopefully in better times. Bye! <laughs> Do you have a lot of scholarships for you? Academic going for you? <laughs> <laughs>